And here we are, back again. Just finished up with the free mine. Time to search for the Ulu Mulu. Pieces, ingredients, whatever you want to call them. Uh, last thing we did actually was um, give Wolf the 15 armor plates. We got left with seven of them. We killed all 11 mine crawlers we could find. Mine crawler warriors in the free mine. And now we have to wait. As far as I remember, he will give us the uh, crawler armor in chapter 5 once we finish up with the uh, search for the Ulumulu quest. Anything else we should take care of in the free mine before we go on to the Ulumulu? For the honor. Hmm, let's see if you have anything interesting. You have ore. Let's sell you a few things. Need to remember to keep myself a bow at hand because we'll need that in the sleeper's temple. Uh, this is expensive as book. Okay. All right, that's that's fine. Anything else interesting that you might have? I mean, just runes, but we have Storm of Fire, we have Wave of Ice. I thought about acquiring a Chain Lightning, which I'm pretty sure he has. No, he doesn't. He has Ball Lightning, that one. But I don't think it's as useful now as it could have been in Chapter 3 and the first part of Chapter 4. So. Settle for just your ore, sir. That's it. Anything else? Um, oh, let's go and see Bruce, because that's actually one of the NPCs I've almost never met and almost forgot about, because he, first of all, is irrelevant, doesn't have anything to say, and for a very long time, I didn't know he even existed, because he's just chilling the entire game in his hut, and his entire dialogue is just basic rogue. How are you? Man, what do you think? Eating rice all day and waiting all the time for a chance to get some ore? Then off to the bar. Yep, so nice to meet you, Bruce. Uh, definitely forgot about you uh, many gameplays uh, don't want to learn acro acrobatics yet I know it's super useful but I want to take care of the circle six requirements which I think it's 35 skill points we'll need three more level ups we'll manage that I'm sure but priorities right uh, anything else in here I mean, these guys are irrelevant. Butch and Wedge over there. Among the mercenaries, Torlov doesn't have anything to say. Uh, Blade doesn't have anything to say. So, a bunch of named characters that have any nothing at all to do with the quest or any kind of useful dialogue, insightful dialogue. Nothing at all. Probably uh, piranha bites were constrained by time, had time constraints, and couldn't add a few things. Like Quentin's area, right next to the beginning area of the game. Right, let's head on to Zardus actually, because he might have some useful spells and runes for us before we get on to our quest. I think he should have Summon Demon, which might prove useful. He also should have Summon Skeletons and Shrink Monster, which I would like to buy one, because we'll have a troll encounter quite soon. And maybe, yep, definitely we'll buy Death to the Undead, which is Circle 4. He should have that rune as well. 
let's see. Fireball, no thanks. Death to the undead, there we go. And shrink monster, I'll take one of them. Summon demon, I'll take one of them. Golem, no thank you. I think we have some sun skeletons at hand. Alright. And now let's sell what we can. This short bow I'll keep, because we'll need that. And we can sell most of our arrows, because we'll only need a few. Anything else? Definitely can sell the Storm of Fire from Lee. Thanks again for nothing. My vice. So this, or oh, everything except for meat. Yep, 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 yep. All right. Give from the gods and astronomy. Uh, we can sell the rest of the armor plates. 50 each. Oh, didn't even notice that we've surpassed. Do you have a war, sir? No, you don't. Right back we go. Where's the bread? Gotta break bread. There we go. Everyone happy. Right. Next destination. Uh, yeah, we'll do this after the Ulumulu. This. Okay. Right. So, what we need? We need teeth of a swamp shark. Let's start with that. Go to the swamp camp first. That's the easiest, I think. Yeah. Plus, we can. I think uh, swamp sharks uh, are quite prone to uh, magic. So we should be able to fry a few of them quite quickly, if I remember correctly. We'll see, in due time. Maybe we could also uh, do our best to level up. I'll try to uh, take care of a few of them over there. So before this quest, uh, swamp sharks, I don't think we're dropping anything when you kill them. Just now, after you get the quest. Anyway, we weren't strong enough for a long period to face swamp sharks anyway. So, let's see how this goes. Quite slow as well. And they take damage underwater, even when we cast fire, believe it or not. So, what's the artifact called? Teeth of a Swamp Shark, and we have three. I can't remember if Tarox tells you how many teeth you need, but one's enough. I mean, um, if you kill one single swamp shark, that's enough. But what not make some XP while we're at it? So they take three storm of fire castings. All right, good to know. Good to know. Does Viren have anything else to say? I think his name was Viren. Yep. 
How's, How's the, the picking going? Yeah, yeah, just make fun of me. I'm sure you're getting better jobs from the gurus. Well, at least I don't need to do the dirty work myself. The infantry do that. <laughs> mm. All right, so we're infantry now. I'm to take all the weeds to Kor Kalam again. Again? Now you're not going to tell me to kill all the swamp sharks for you, are you? I really don't have that much time. Okay, okay. Here, take the bloody weeds. Easy money. Corcolom has a bit of business to take care of, as you all know. But, yeah, we can uh, smuggle some swamp weed off of that loser. Not sure, but these should be quite pricey. Yep, extremely pricey. I think we can sell them uh, for 250 a piece, and we'll have quite a few. So this will be our um, way out of financial trouble for the rest of the game, more or less. Strangely, this one took four hits. No worries. Who's up next? You, sir. Getting paranoid in this uh, swamp. Two more. What a nice uh, change of scenery from um, being scared to fight juvenile mole rats and scavengers to absolutely demolishing uh, all of the swamp sharks in the swamp. Just a few uh, fire hits. Oh yeah, we need three long casts of Storm of Fire to finish him off, that's why. I needed four just a second ago, that other one. Nice to have a hundred mana as well. You'll have to keep an eye on the mana meter so often. Can't touch this. Let's see what this altar is all about. Didn't have the guts to come here previously. I like this part of the swamp. It's quite mystical. Never understood what this what this should do. Uh, hmm. It was supposed to hold something of a magical origin, but yeah. Apart from that, just a few skulls, a few um, high tier plants, and that's it. Strange. Get him from here. Nope. Bloody hell. Uh, 
is a bit too close for comfort, but... Let's see ya. Righty then. Can you focus on the blood fly, please? Never mind. These blood flies are annoying, getting in the way. Freeze all of ya. If I can. Oh, that was a nice jump. And they said white guys can jump. was that? <laughs> I wasn't jumping in that direction, <laughs> what the hell? Alright, now we should be good to go. Settled. Right, who else wants a piece? Precious piece! As Roscoe and Laris would say. That's the shit level up. That's what I like to see. Is that strange guy still here? Should be. I think I've heard his voice just a minute ago. Well, he's not in the hut. Where is he then? Where I just heard him. Right when I was about to uh, cast a spell on one of these swamp sharks. Anyway, I think that's taken care of. Let's just teleport back to the swamp camp and head over to one of the forests near uh, the swamp camp to find a shadow beast. You shouldn't believe everything you hear, that's true. Namib, do you got something to say? Apart from, hmm. Apparently not. 
So I know from the top of my head at least two places you should find a shadow beast. One's this forest up ahead that separates uh, the swamp camp from the old camp on this uh, this road. The a different shadow beast location I remember is near the ring of stone where we went with Milton to get our hands on uh, one of the focuses. That creepy ass place with all the skeletons and undead uh, skeleton chief. So let's make this fun if we can. Cock. This would this would have been a nice time to have a fire rain spell. There's the guy. So Alright, so two of them. Brother and sister, maybe. Ooh. Yeah, now's not a good time, Mr. Bloodfly. Alright. We've uh, damaged this uh, family bond. Two shadow beasts and one uh, one try. Should we bother with the other animals, creatures and beasties over here? I mean, we could. Let's eat up some first. Look at this guy's just scratching. Where are you going? Where's that dude going? Oh, blood flies, you stupid things. Can't help yourself but hate those uh, annoying things. This is a failed uh, excuse for a cave. Anything else? Oh. A mole ratus. Okay. I like to go on these kind of rampages and always. Uh, a lot more fun when you're on a speed potion. That one's been hit. Alright then. I think that's enough for now. Um, I think we should meet up a fire lizard on this beach if I'm not mistaken. If I am mistaken, I know a different place. It's right close to the fog tower where quite a big family of fire lizards should be located. I know a lot of them over there, but if I can find one of them here, that would be even better for us. was one in the orc area I know earlier, but we didn't have the ability to pull up their tongue. It's called Tongue of Fire. I don't suppose we have one. 
Nope, we don't. Hmm, should we go to the... Let's think about this. Uh, you know what? I think there should be at least one very close to Zardus's tower. Let's try this route, because this should be even quicker. Just need to take care that we don't fall. <laughs> um... When we jump off his tower, it's no easy, easy other way. I mean, there are a few, but All right. Let's just save before we do this crazy stuff. Okay, and from here, can I? Yep. Nah, that wasn't my plan, but could have gone worse. Alright, now let's recover from the fall, first of all, and find ourselves some happy campers. Yeah, on this road, should, this should take us to some place where a few fire lizards should be. Don't have the orc talisman from Urshak to protect us from uh, the. Yeah, there they are. The happy camper family. Do my best to just attract one of them, even though I could run up and freeze them. Oh, you're frozen now? Alright, even better. Oh, one more. Ooh, shit. These are deadly. following me? Yes, you are. Alright, how's our mana? Your mana's good. Let's drink up. And freeze this last bitch. Oh, these are dead. Where's the fourth one, though? Are they still on the road back? Anyway. There's one, two, three. Alright. And now, let's think. Hmm, let's go back to... to the swamp camp. And try our luck with... Uh, I think there was a troll right next to the old mine. Collapse. Let's try our luck there. I know there's a troll in... Um, in the northern mountains where we were with Diego for uh, one of the focus stones. But this one's closer. Save by the way. This is uh, this has gone well. Remember the first time I played Gothic that this definitely took longer than 15 20 minutes to acquire all these four beasties because I uh, don't remember me searching for uh, online help. I was just uh, basically all I had was Tarox's advice where I could find these uh, four different beasts and I just kept searching them all across the map. Fortunately, Gothic's map isn't that large but... Uh, yeah, those were different times. Drink up.
and drink up and on we go those were simpler times no quest maps no quest logs what you see is what you get map markers sorry that's what I would <laughs> I wanted to say map markers quest maps what the fuck is a quest map I mean that makes sense but yeah Gilbert should be still up there bless him those two fuckers on the left of our line of sight are dead. Thank fuck for that. Actually, why didn't I just teleport to the new camp? Well, yeah, that would have been much simpler. Anyway. I always thought, I mean, uh, not always, but I thought for a few, uh, for quite some time I thought that there's another troll in the orc, uh, not orc, the monastery, citadel, we go with Gorn, and the focus stone search, I uh, you know there's a baby troll loading up after you acquire the focus, and then, for quite some time I thought there's a troll there, after uh, Tarot gives you the Ulumulu quest search, but I think I was wrong. There is no orc, uh, sorry, troll there. Should be one here. That would be funny if I just uh, confused them and there's no troll here whatsoever. Let's see. <laughs> As I said, I'm not planning anything. Just as we go, there he is. Alright, where's my shrink monster stuff? There you go. This takes so long to cast. Imagine actually dealing with a more active and uh, dynamic enemy, and then kills you twice till you manage to cast it <laughs> takes about seven seconds to uh, to cast that's an eternity troll tusk two pieces for our troubles right nice so we're done with the uh, Ulumulu search quest thingy let's see if there's anything to be seen here since we're in the area. Wish I had a jetpack to just get down quickly, but this isn't Elex. Oh, What do you know, it actually collapsed. Or did it? Hmm. Let's find out. I need to go. Who needs to go? Alright, so now, apparently the old mine collapsed, but um, 
did it <laughs> did it really and what's even more fun is the fact that uh, tempers are um, fighting guards now so if you're hostile you're hostile to everyone This is a nice experience, I haven't done this in a while. Just revisiting the supposed collapsed old mine. A lot of uh, XP and loot involved, as you can see. He's still moving. Nice. Unlimited, almost unlimited. That's a figure of speech. Cash. Don't even feel like picking these. Should we? Bad, not bad at all. Nice. Good, looking good. like this every time all right who's up next Where's the digger guy, the funny voice digger guy? Maybe just uh, get out of dodge? Maybe. Don't think I killed him. Oh, actually, should we try the side shaft? The one where Aleph and Bran Dick were. Let's try that one. Don't remember how many cards were. Ooh.
Alright. Leave no one behind. See the only card here? Don't think so. Oh, there's that other fucker. Look at that digger. <laughs> uh, he was just um, doing something in the ground there. Alright, back up we go. Don't mind me, I'm just killing your bosses. Those crossbows hurt like hell. Shame apples don't give you strength in Gothic 1, only in Gothic 2. They're almost a meme. Alright, so the shaft, which has Ian and those other dudes, including the dumb guy, That'll be a bit more difficult. I'm not sure how to approach this one. Hmm. Should be able to cast. Oh. Oh, Ian's immortal, actually. I forgot about that. that case there's no real incentive for us to go down there because at the end of the day we can kill four out of five people but the fifth one will just um, just do us with the crossbow let's try to get the other ones Alberto. And Mr. Unnamed You've Guard. Yes, I did. Necessary? Yes, it was. Anyone else wants a piece? Especially a precious piece. Let's save here, because I'm not exactly enthusiastic about. Put it put that magic away. Put it away. Going down there. Oh, all right. <laughs> Fuck me, right? That was a close one as well. Jesus. Oh, we've cleaned up these, forgot about that. So, anyone else on this level except Ian? I'm not sure where Ian is. Did he just fly his ass down there? Or is he stuck somewhere? Apparently he's not stuck. Oh, poor Grimes. Always liked that NPC and his uh, back backstory. At least we got these two. Lovely. Those sounds, though. If 
filthy rich. with an apple. I'm sure that was uh, a juicy one as well. Alrighty then. few templars down there and a guard down there. Hmm. I mean, never mind the templars we just took away uh, next to, uh, they went next to Ashgan. Ass hat. Um, there's one. He's still moving. Milton over here. That was kind of like his voice. Now you decided to just drop dead. Okay. How are you? Oh, this is Ian. Oh, shizzle. Now I have to just zigzag my way out of here. Because he's immortal. PB could have changed that, but they could have done a lot more. <laughs> Especially just, uh, I don't know, close off the old mine. Um, so what I was uh, meaning to say is he could have just stopped Ian for, uh, from being immortal and um, instrumental to the story. I don't know, with starting with chapter 3 or 4 when uh, the old mine collapses. Because yeah, you can't really get around that. Uh, he's always going to... Uh, follow you, always going to beat you, no matter what. And his crossbow hurts like hell. There's not much, uh, much else except um, guard loot and some XP from killing guards down there at the bottom level anyway. The fact that Ian's immortal even now after the old mine collapses is one of the main reasons I very rarely come back to the old mine just to uh, do a bit of looting and XP gaining. Because at the end of the day Ian's immortal and he will just fuck up all of our plans. Anyway, let's finish things off. Light to hander. Oof, nice. I'm not sure which of the NPCs had that, but thanks, I guess. Let's teleport back to the new camp and head off to the free mine to meet Tarek. Give him the all the requirements for the Ulumulu. Hmm, ages ago. You sure? This is a long journey.
Thanks for keeping an eye on uh, things, guys. Especially you, Cord. Hi Gore, nice to meet you. See you on the other side. Right then. So let's take the same bath actually. This is the mo the one I remember the easiest. It's just that annoying jump that irritates me. Which I didn't get this time. But luckily we're not dead yet. Alright. Please don't die here. Always have a bad feeling with these places. All right, Terra, old friend, what's up? I have all four items for the Ulu Mulu. Stranger, strong warrior B, give items. Terra, make Ulu Mulu here. Yeah. Stranger, wear Ulu Mulu and proud. Terra, sleep now. That rock sleep now. Right then, you have a peaceful uh, sleep. You're about the only living being outside uh, a few diggers, which for some reason are still digging. So should be a lot more peaceful now. Let's save again because you never know when you're going to just jump incorrectly in this game. Once we're out, we should be entering chapter 5. Unless I'm missing something, don't think I am. That's an interesting orc standard you have there. Is that from the former orc slave in the mine? It's an orcish symbol for friendship. I want to enter the orc town with it. I hope for your sake that the orcs will respect this... thing. How's the situation? Everything's quiet. Nothing moving in the free mine. It can't be long now till Lee sends reinforcements up here. I'll just make myself at home until then. You do that, buddy. See you later. Ladies and gentlemen, Guardians of the Portal, but that will be in the next one. Till then, take care of yourselves. See you.